What is Oracle Financial Consolidation and Closed Cloud Service, and where does one of the letter C's go when you make it into the acronym FCCS? FCCS is a pre-built solution to handle most of your financial closed needs. To be clear, it is not HFM. The good folks at Oracle started over to make this consolidation solution a modern solution with a simplified tablet-like user interface, and thank the goddesses, they made it sit natively on top of S-Space. They try to do everything out of the box, so say goodbye to all that scripting you used to have to do in the days of HFM. It has built-in task management. They took the good parts of FCM, including Close Manager and Supplemental Data Manager, and those are now fully integrated into FCCS, along with a lot of things we used to have to do manually, such as currency translation adjustments, foreign currency impact. All those are built in, along with other standard consolidations, intercompany eliminations, matching reports, and lots and lots of pre-built dashboards. When you buy FCCS, you get both a dev instance and a prod instance. And since it's on the cloud, you don't have to deal with things like buying hardware, installing software, patching your software, upgrading your software, backing up your application, any infrastructure issues. Oracle has to manage and deal with your data center, not you. Now, if all this looks familiar, it's probably because you've used PBCS, otherwise known as Enterprise Planning Cloud before. FCCS and EPC are basically fraternal twins because FCCS is built on the framework of Enterprise Planning Cloud. So if you know Enterprise Planning Cloud, EPC, you already know a ton about FCCS, whether you realize it or not. A PBCS admin will figure out FCCS faster than an HFM admin will, unless that HFM admin also knows S-Base. And if there are any enterprise admins still alive out there, you will be completely bewildered when you see FCCS. And just like with EPC, S-based knowledge is going to help you a ton. So let's take a quick walk through the application just to show you what it will look like when you get into FCCS. The simplified user interface is designed to look like a tablet or a smartphone. There are clusters and cards that are customizable. You can move, you can add, you can hide the cards in the clusters. You can customize the announcements that are out there. I gave a little shout out to my friend Rich Wilkie in the FCCS announcement. There are built-in tasks you can easily launch, messages you can get to, and an overall high-level navigator menu you can access. Tasks in the application are driven by Close Manager. They can run off of reusable templates. You can assign them to specific people. You can check on the status. You can find out when certain things are due. You can even receive notifications based on the statuses and the due dates. Forms in the application are available by the web or you can pull them up through SmartView. Drill through is possible from the forms. You can add validation rules to the forms. You can even make composite forms if you want to. Forms are the basis of dashboards and you have three different types, at least in this version, of pre-configured dashboards. The first dashboard is for an overview of how you're doing in your close process. So you can find out which tasks are closed, how many journals need to be complete, how many are late, how many are on time, what supplemental data has been submitted. Really, it's designed to give a CFO or chief accounting officer or controller some idea of how you're doing in the close process. Second type of pre-built dashboard is for compliance. There are a couple of subsections, you know, little tabs on the left. One is a compliance dashboard. The other one is about compliance related to your supplemental details. There are also multiple financials dashboards. There's one for income statement, one for balance sheet that I'm showing right now, one for cash flow. To really give you an idea of where you're spending your money over time, comparing against different months or across different accounts. And like everything else in FCCS, it's entirely pre-built. There's extremely powerful journal entry capabilities in FCCS. For instance, you can view a list of journal entries by period. You can see a history of the changes. There's an entire workflow process wrapped around journal entries to make sure they're approved prior to posting. Once a period is closed, you can't post any more journal entries. Some of the workflow things you can do are submit, reject, approve, post, unpost. Um, you can copy, delete, import, export journal entries. They're all automatically numbered. There's a non-repeating system that's assigned, making sure all the numbers are unique. You can also run reports on the journal entries. You can filter on the journal entries. And speaking of those reports, 
You have a ton of options you can use when running your intercompany reports. You can look at entity transactions, who that entity is trading with as their trading partner. You can have it automatically match. You can give it a ton of different matching tolerance. You could say, I want to match within a specific amount, maybe like within one penny or one dollar. You can even have it match within a percentage. You can base it on your plug accounts. You can have it automatically interactively generate matches and pull reports out. It's extremely powerful in our company for the initial release. This is an example of what one of the intercompany reports looks like. In my case, everything fully matched. There wasn't anything in there. But if you had thousands of intercompanies, it would reconcile all of those for you. When you export out those intercompanies, they can be HTML, PDF, or XLS. Speaking of XLS, if you are familiar with SmartView, you have full access to that. It's the tool we all know and love for all the Oracle EPM on-prem products. And the good news, it works against the EPM cloud too. So you pull up SmartView inside of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and it'll work against things like FCCS. Now in the first version of FCCS, it is read-only access within SmartView. Right back is coming in a future release. Supplemental Data Manager is fully integrated. Unlike HFM, where you're really jumping off to another product, you stay entirely in FCCS. For instance, you can have a workflow that has you do a couple of tasks within FCCS and then immediately go to attaching some supplemental data, all part of one joint workflow. In terms of what's in supplemental data, it's every feature you're familiar with on-prem. They just moved it all out to the cloud. Similarly, Close Manager is entirely been moved out to the cloud, so all the features you're familiar with on-prem are fully integrated. And just like Supplemental Data Manager, it can control and automatically integrate with your workflow as well. As of July 2016, these are your predefined system dimensions. They will continue to add new accounts, new capabilities. They will expand some of the upper level caps. They may add additional custom dimensions. As of July 2016, you essentially can have two custom dimensions. And if you turn on multi-gap, it actually takes up one of your custom dimensions. So as the product continues to evolve, we're going to see these dimensions evolve. But at the moment, we have those 11 predefined system dimensions and then two custom dimensions. There are a lot of predefined system members. They're easy to spot because the member names all start with FCCS underscore. You can change the aliases. So notice in my case, there's FCCS Total Geography that I creatively changed the alias to Total Geography. And likewise, FCCS Global Assumptions, I may say Global Assumptions. But you could say, for instance, Total Geography could be Interrail Corporate. You can also add new members to the applications. So if you'll notice like EO1, EO2, EO3, EO4, EO5, and their children, those were not in the original application because they don't start with FCCS, but I wanted to expand and go below Total Geography. This will appear in several of the dimensions. Here's the good news. Anytime you make a report or a dashboard, or anything based on those FCCS members, they are guaranteed not to change. That will automatically continue on to the next version. There are three methods really of calculating within FCCS. There are the pre-built business rules. I've shown you some of them out here. Those are pre-provided by Oracle. You cannot modify them. You cannot create new ones. You cannot remove them. They're really trying to minimize you doing custom scripting. So if there are things you really want to do that you'd like to write a script for, rather than have you write it yourself, Oracle wants you to submit it to them so they can make it part of the core product. That way, when you go to a new version, it automatically works with the new release that comes out. This is very, very different than HF where you pretty much had to write BB script for every single thing you wanted to do across every single implementation. You do have the ability to create custom members and add custom formulas. These are for calculations you want to happen in real time, dynamic calculations, things like ratios, for instance. And you can also change the properties of various members. For instance, if you make something an asset, it's going to calculate differently than if it was a revenue type account. Statuses within the application, you have both calculation statuses and various lock statuses. This looks familiar to people that have HFM background. So you can say, okay, for this entity, what data has been submitted or has no data been submitted? Has it been calculated? Does it need to be translated? Was it impacted by something down below it? Likewise, you can also have various members of your geography that are locked. So maybe you've closed out December of 2015, but right now January of 2016 is unlocked. And you can also lock not just overall period, but specific entities within that period. Now there's a lot more to come with FCCS, but I hope this gives you a quick overview of what all there is as of July 2016. Keep posted. We will try and do new videos as they keep adding new things to the product because they're spending a lot of effort doing research and development to make sure this is by far the best financial consolidation cloud-based product in the world. 
Thank you.